In today's video, we're going to do a quick, sweet prim project. Every autumn, fresh crop of candy corn shows up in the stores and reminds us that harvest time is near. Candy corn was invented in the 1880s, so they have been enjoyed for many, many years. The seed-shaped confection can become a symbol of God's Word and how He uses us to accomplish his heavenly harvest. For today's project, what you're going to need is just a simple pattern. I created a triangle and then I marked off where the lines will be to paint. So down here we'll have the yellow, the orange, and the white. What you will need is um, the template that you draw out some fabric, I have some muslin here, scissors, paint, I have some yellow paint, orange, and white, a coffee grunge mixture, your primitive sprinkles, and here I have cinnamon and nutmeg, paintbrush, and any sewing notions that you'll need because we're going to sew each one, you'll have two pieces for each one, and you'll just sew around, leaving a hole to stuff them. And my tallest point is eight inches, and the widest point is five inches. And we'll be grouping them in groups of three. And if you want to secure them together, you'll use some twine to tie around, and I'll show you that. And then I've got a few tags here that I'm going to decoupage a message on. So let's get started. Let's cut out our template. If we are making, I'm going to make two sets. If we are making two sets, that'll be six total. So we'll need 12 pieces of this fabric. So all you're going to do, I'm just going to stack some fabric here and cut and see how many pieces I get. So we were able to get one scrap fabric, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll need six more. We now have our 12 pieces of candy corn, and each one will require two. And then you'll just sew around with a quarter inch seam allowance, bring it back around, leave an opening so we can turn them. We'll stuff them, and then we'll get to painting. I have finished sewing the candy corns. I sewed a quarter inch seam allowance around the edge. I left a hole so that I could turn them inside out. I'm going to trim the corners, give them a good press, and then go ahead and stuff them. After I've got that done, I'll be back. I have finished stuffing and sewing 
all of our little candy corns. I've got six of them here. And now it's time to paint. And I'm going to start with the orange. The orange is in the middle. And I will just use my template here to kind of see where I want to tape off. I have on my template, it's two and a half inches from the top. So I'll just grab a piece of tape here. About two and a half inches is about right there. And then on the bottom, I had marked two inches. All right, so we've got it marked off, and then we will be putting the orange, painting the orange in here, and then um, I will go ahead and put tape on the back when I'm done with the front. And don't worry about it being too bright because we will be coming back and using our coffee stain grunge and our prim sprinkles to really prim this up. And there you have it, the start of our candy corn. Once I have all of the orange done and they're dried, I'll be back. My candy corns are all painted and I think they turned out so pretty. And I just wanted to go over with you what paints I did use. For the top part, I used the white. This is by Apple, Apple Barrel and it's just the original white. For the yellow, I did go with golden yellow and this is Apple Barrel as well. And I think that that is really pretty. And for the orange, I just used this um, Joann's Matte. It's called Top Notch, but it's just called Orange, I believe. No, it's called Tangerine. Tangerine. So we're getting ready to grunge these up. I'm going to put on some gloves before I do that because this gets quite messy. And we're just going to use my coffee mixture. Pour some in the cap. And then I use a sponge brush and just go to town. And these will make great bowl fillers. It could be the centerpiece for a filler and you could fill around it. do one and then we'll come back and do um, a second coat and they will have to dry before we style them. Mm -hmm. 
I'll finish these up and I'll be right back. All right, I'm finishing up putting the second coat of grunge mixture on. And you can add as many coats as you want. I think this will be perfect because I do want to retain some of that beautiful color. Try to get up anything that's on your tray. Add that on. Pour what you have left over back in the container. And now we're going to put some of my sprinkle, my prim sprinkle I call it, on here. And I have cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves in here. And that makes them smell so great. It makes them look so pretty. And then we'll kind of, once it dries, then they will lose some of that. All right, and then we'll flip them over, do the other side. These smell so good. And I'm going to take them outside. It's still really hot here in Wisconsin. So I'll take them outside and let those dry. When I come back, we'll be finishing them up. I'm going to add some cheesecloth. I'm going to wrap my tea stained cheesecloth wrap around and then I've got some cute tags to add and some rusty bells and rusty pins. We'll be right back. Our candy corns are dried. Look how cute they turned out. I just love these. Nicely grunged. So the next step would to be to package them up, to tie them up in bundles of three. I'll be using this cheesecloth, which is tea stained, and we'll add some tags. And I'm going to do bundles of three. So I'll put, put them like this. And then one in the front. And then we'll just do a simple tie. And they'll be like this. And then I think I'll just Fan these out like that. And then I've got my tag for the candy corn on a rusty pin and a bell. So I think what I'll do is put that near the knot. And they will look like that. Bring this down a little so they're tight. And 
and I will fix up the last one and we'll style them. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And if you're returning, thank you so much. And if you have found value in this video, please like and comment.